Ladies and gentlemen, Gary Kay. Well, this is going to be a tough one, but here we go. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you so much. My dad was absolutely one of a kind. He was adored and loved dearly by all of the family. My mum always said that their marriage was one of the great love stories, and she's right. They were inseparable. Everyone who knows them knows that. They did everything together, and he loved you so much, Mum. As a father and a grandfather, he was simply the best. Each of us had our own unique relationship with him. He knew which button to press to make us laugh and to cry, and for him, the love was unwavering. All of you here today have a special place in our family's hearts. Regardless of what connection you had with him as a family friend or a listener on radio or a civic theatre patron, you have a place. We've had a private family funeral, but we were overwhelmed by the outpouring of public <coughs> response. And at that point, we knew that something significant needed to occur. And we were so appreciated, sorry, we were so appreciative that we could have a memorial for Max. The venue, a gift from the state, and we thank everyone involved in making that happen from Minister Templeman, Julian Donaldson, and everyone behind the scenes, the staff at His Majesty's Theatre, you have just been absolutely wonderful. We are truly humbled by the honour. He loved this theatre and spent a lot of time here. He also loved a full house, which <laughs> had not been <laughs> It's saying that he probably would have said, couldn't you have charged $25 a <laughs> I can hear it now from Dad. It's a missed opportunity, Gary. <laughs> so, the last thing my dad would have wanted is a tribute to him with no humour. All of you know what he was like. He was a reverend, quick-witted. He knew how to read, read a room. So I will try and share a few select stories along the way, and trust me, there are a lot of them, but we'll just edit that, that's fine. <laughs> Dad loved this city. He migrated to Perth from Glasgow after touring the world as manager and fellow performer to Andy Stewart. After settling here, he made his mark as a businessman and performer, appearing regularly on local television. He then started the Civic Theatre Restaurant in Inglewood, then relocated to Highgate, where he built what was then the largest unsubsidised theatre in the country. In the year 2000, he was awarded the WA Citizen of the Year Award in the category of Arts, Culture and Entertainment, and this is where the first story comes in. So, we finished the ceremony as a family, and we're walking through the what was then the, the Burswood Casino foyer. Dad, with gong in hand, and this random person comes up to him and says, Mate, you're a legend. You're a bloody legend. And Dad, oh, thank you very much. That's lovely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know you from television. You're Tony Sadler of Wembley. <laughs> now, rather than be affronted, Dad, collapses in hysterical laughter because the funniest thing he's ever heard in his life. And that was him. He loved being the brunt of a joke and if someone took the mickey out of him all the better, we all did that very well as a family. In fact, he used to say to people when I was with him, he said, Gaddy, Gaddy, do me. He does me better than I do me. <laughs> so funny, so irreverent and so dad. He loved people and with would uh, interact with anyone. Walking down the street with Dad or having dinner at a restaurant was a lengthy affair. And so many people would stop or come over and have a chat and he was in his absolute element. Even people overseas recognised him. I mean, look, we had family holidays. Dad, Mum and Dad loved Bali. We went on many of those and uh, he would always make an effort to talk to the locals in Indonesian. 
<laughs> I love that. He tried, but it wasn't always so successful. After a family meal in Sano, he finished with a dessert that he was really taken with. So he asked the waitress, I go, what, what do you call this? And she said, um, this is uh, mananaki. Mananaki. And Dad sort of, with his Indonesian skills, went, okay, oh, oh, okay, I, I, I have to order that again. So, uh, mananaki, mananaki, I love that. To which I said, Dad, she's saying banana cake. <laughs> Again, he thought that was hilarious, and that's, that was Dad. He was actually the funniest when he wasn't trying to be funny. <laughs> Mum and Dad closed the, the theatre in 2001, and Dad became a Perth City Councillor, true to his word. On retirement, he poured his energy into charity, volunteering, and he was very passionate about a number of causes. We were so, pr so proud in 2003 when he was appointed a member of the Order of Australia for his service to the performing arts and to various charities. In fact, in 2006, he retired as a counsellor and concentrated wholly on his charitable pursuits. He was amazing. I never heard him turn down a request to help any charity, whether it be hosting an event, whether it be as an auctioneer, or whether it be abseiling down Perth's highest building. In a kilt. For prostate cancer. He was advised not to look down, and the public were advised no. <laughs> <laughs> Dad held positions on a number of boards, the Perth Theatre Trust, St Bartholomew's House, Prostate Cancer Australia, and as President of the National Trust in WA. I have to share with you one of the most touching things that in the last few weeks occurred. It made us so proud as a family and summed up Dad. I mean, he, he did deal with a lot of very important people. He, uh, but this was amazing. Dad used to love online shopping. He used to buy the most obscure things, and now Mum has a garage full of boxes. <laughs> but so much so that he knew his Star Trek courier by name. <laughs> so Mum gets this popped under the door a few weeks after he passed. So this is from Clive, his courier. My condolences to Norma and family. I've listened to Max on the radio, and because of Max, I took his advice to have a prostate check. He saved my life. Lots of love, Clive. Okay, here we go again. That was Dad. So caring, so approachable not until late last year, so full of energy. He loved doing his program with Jenny on Curtin FM, and their on-air chemistry, chemistry was uh, legendary. He also did a series of one-man shows in 2018, which were sellouts. He was an absolute powerhouse, and I, I must say, his voice was as good as it was 20 years ago, to which Dad would have said, was I that bad? <laughs> Dad, I'll miss your 30 phone calls during an Eagles game, complaining about the umpires. He would say, are you watching this? Even though most of them were legitimate free kicks, but it didn't matter. So, Dad, Papa, Max, we are proud of everything you achieved, and although it hurts to let you go, we were so lucky to have you in our lives. We will love you always and miss you forever. Thank you.